happy birthday, Mom. First of all, I want to say that you that it's um, it's a very good privilege for to be your daughter, and that I just love being your daughter. You've been teaching me very good stuff, and you would always help me out when I'm when I'm in my bad days. You help me with my work, and that I'm proud of you for being a good Christian, a good friend, a good. Mm, a good, um, most importantly, a good mom. <laughs> Happy birthday. Today is when to express my love for you and express how much you've done so much great things in my life. I wouldn't be who I am today if I wasn't having a mother just like you. If I wasn't with any other mother, I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't be the person I am today. I wouldn't be so loving and happy in my life if it wasn't for you. And I'm so glad I get to have a mother and it's a giant privilege being your daughter because not every, not every child gets to have a mother like you. Some children get hate in their life and they grew up knowing hate but in my family and with my mother and my father I get to grow up knowing love and knowing how to love other people the way I love myself and I am so happy and it's big privilege being your daughter happy birthday mom and enjoy the rest of your birthday Happy birthday, Mom. You are a great mom, and I don't know what I would be without you. And I'm a great kid because you've taught me a whole lot of things, and that's made me who I am. So thank you for being a great mom you are, and I love you so much with all of my heart. And you've taught me so much things. And when I'm in hard times, you always help me out, and you make me figure out what to do. And then I'll always get happy again. And always when I'm down, you cheer me up with saying so much nice things. So thank you for being my mom. Happy birthday. And I enjoy the rest of your wonderful birthday and your wonderful day. Happy birthday, Mom. You're a great mom. And I love you so much in, in all my heart. Will you cheer me up when, when I have so, so much work when, when, you help, when you help me? Trini, yes. you know, I love your mom. Yeah, I know. You know. Do you have any memories of what you could remember me in terms of loving your mom? Yeah, sometimes you make jokes with her mm -hmm. and play with her and tickle her and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's correct. We have friends at home and um, we just want to have Jesus in our home and live up to what we preach and not just preach it, but we practice what we preach. So let's just come on here. This one is uh, mommy's look. <laughs> we call her the mother of the home. She likes to cook. She likes to take care of the house. She likes to. So, um, what do you say about mom's spiritual influence? Like how she got to, to you to know God and the word of God and what you, you becoming right now? She would teach us and she would set us down and she would make us read our Bible and she would teach us new things and tell us Bible stories in fun ways that we will remember them. And she will help us grow spiritually by teaching us how to pray and how to speak in tongues. And uh, mommy is my mom, also Pastor Ola to me. She is my pastor at my house and at my and in church she's my mother and my pastor and i appreciate her and respect her just the way all of you do okay. Wonderful. so how has mom influenced you spiritually to come to know jesus she quizzes me like every day like if i go into the kitchen she's like what bible verse is this or something like that and then i get then i start saying it and then I either get it wrong or right. And also, she lets me read the Bible, and she makes she lets me grow up spiritually, and also f um, helps me step in, no, helps me in my spiritual steps. And yeah, she's a great mom. She's a great mom. Absolutely, thank you. Um, Sophie, come over here. Um, um, you are the professor of the house. We call her the prof. 
uh, Sophie, you know I love your mom. Yes. So tell me one memory that you have of us and me loving your mom. When you two are upstairs, you always um have fun and you always show mommy funny videos and then sometimes you just come crawling upstairs and see what you're doing. <laughs> he tries to scare mommy and daddy, but it doesn't work every time. And daddy always says you can come in Srinyan because he always knows that I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So uh, tell me, how has mom helped you grow spiritually? He, she helps me step up of, in reading my Bible. And she helps me... Um, she helps me read scriptures. She teaches me how to pray. And also... She also teach me how to, she teaches me how to pray in tongues, and she always tells me Bible verses, and she tells me about people in the Bible, and she tells me Bible verses in fun ways. Come on, that's where I come here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Doc. Why do you want to be a doctor? When I grow up. Then tell, tell us reasons why you want to be a doctor. It's because I, it's because I help people when they fall down. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Okay, that's good. So, um, tell me, how has mommy helped you? In this life mommy helped me mommy helped me to pray that's right. mm. Mm. I'm scared <laughs> 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 yeah we are glad as a family just want to say we love you and we appreciate you for being who you are you've done you've been you are the Bible woman you are the Bible woman. You are, in fact, you fit the description of a Bible woman. The woman that God himself would call the virtuous woman. Thank you very much for who you are. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom.